right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Powered by FanDuel Sportsbook. All right, K-Bone Rice. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Fan Cave. We love talking sports here every night at 1035. Tonight is no exception. So if you're snowed in, if you're tired of the snow, if you just need a place to talk and listen, this is your place to be. It's 412-575-2600. That puts you in touch with us. You can also tweet me at KD Pomp. Let's go to Chris Mu- Oh, no, Chris Muller isn't there tonight. No, 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 no. He got trapped in the snow, apparently, but he did send in this tweet. Uh, Chris Muller from the PM team says, unfortunately, not going to be able to do the sports call with KD Pomp tonight. Apparently, the Steelers offensive line took over the plows and they were not clearing the way. But then he had seriously, thanks to everyone out there working hard to get the roads cleared. Took a little shot there, but I, Chris, come on, man. You still have time. You have, uh, let's see, 21 minutes to get here. So come on, create your own opening, get through, plow your way in here, and let's talk sports. 412-575-2600. No, it's best that he doesn't do that. The roads are slick out there. Certainly, I've been advising people not to, uh, you know, go out there tonight. So if you can avoid it, don't go. We have to go home tonight. <laughs> so Jared Barton, our producer, and I were talking about this. Uh, you got to go real slow, so don't expect us anytime soon. Uh, it's going to take a little time to get home tonight. In the meantime, we're talking about what's going on with the Steelers. You heard uh, Rich talk with Ben Roethlisberger today about some of his concerns, and he seems very optimistic that there is time left in the season to turn things around, and certainly we've seen that uh, good and bad both ways. And, yes, it starts with Cincinnati. If they get things rolling in that game, get a little mojo going, and then they have a game against Indianapolis, uh, you know, they'll win the division. Then you can pick and choose who you should rest if you want to rest people, and I think without a bye, uh, you may want to do that. Mike Tomlin would have to consider all of that moving forward. But then it's Indianapolis and Cleveland. Still a lot to play for, but it starts with Cincinnati, and that's a good guy, a good team to play if you're looking to change things around. And I'm sure they're going to be motivated. Uh, as far as the injuries are concerned, you know they're piling up. We've seen it with offensive linemen. Uh, James Conner has a quad. Don't know if he's going to be able to go on Monday night. Uh, the offensive line has taken a lot of uh, hits with injury, both Filer and Dotson. But, hey, they got to do what they got to do. Juju Smith-Schuster is doing what he's doing. He's having fun. He is their leading receiver, although the yards per carry aren't very good. And he took a lot of criticism for this. Uh, this is before the game in Buffalo. Of course, his TikTok, he does a lot of TikToking. His branding is very important, and that's the way it is today. I really have no problem with branding. It's just that he's doing this before games. And it wouldn't have been a story, but the Bills saw it, didn't like it, and talked about it coming out. Now, they didn't play a good first quarter, so I guess it didn't really matter. But the fact is they're talking about it. Juju doubled down on that today, and he basically said he's not going to stop doing this. I'm not going to stop being myself. I'm going to be... You know, the juju I have came in to be authentic. Uh, to talk is a new platform that I've used uh, to touch my fans and grow. Uh, this is something I've been doing uh, since, you know, the start of the season, mid-season. Uh, I even did it on a Cowboys logo. Uh, so it's like, it's not not just their logo, but um, the Steelers logo. And, um, and I plan to just keep doing it. Well, if he keeps doing it uh, and people keep noticing it from other teams, I mean, it's one of those things you might want to, uh, talk to him about whether it's Tomlin, whether it's veterans on that team, people who've been there and said it's not necessary to do before games, certainly. You know, I have no problem with celebrations in the end zone. Uh, and if you noticed last week, they didn't celebrate after they were down. There's no reason for that. But when you do celebrate, that's fine. That's the way it is today, and I get it. But before the game, uh, specifically doing it for that purpose, I think that's a little over the top, at least for me. Uh, but I still like what he represents. The other part of Juju being Juju is that he spends a lot of money uh, and time helping local kids and families, and he paid off a bunch of people's layaway accounts today. We have that for you at kdk.com if you want to check out that story. So that's also part of what Juju Smith-Schuster is all about. Anyway, we have a game to talk about. It's the Bengals coming up. We also have some pit highlights to show you when we come back from this commercial break because the Panthers were in action tonight against Miami, and they won on the road in an ACC opener. That's five wins in a row. And there's news concerning, of course, Kenny Pickett and the recruiting class. So a lot of stuff coming up. Call us. This is your place to do it. It's 412-575-2600. I'll take as many calls as I can get here next, right here live on Pittsburgh CW.